dear students today we will discuss uh, some more problems on electric charges and fields the first one is the point charges are placed at the following points on the x axis the two micro coulomb at x equals to 0 minus 3 micro coulomb at x equals to 40 cm and minus 5 micro coulomb at x equals to 120 cm these are the three charges are arranged on the x axis now calculate the following calculate the force on minus 3 micro coulomb charge now what are given here let us see they given three charges those three charges are arranged on the x axis now see let us consider x axis is a y axis let us take it is a z axis now there are three axes this is three dimensional picture or you can take three di two dimensional also and now now i am placing three charges the first one two micro coulomb Two micro coulomb at x equals to zero. X equals to zero means it is a origin. At origin there is a charge. Let us take it is a O point. The charge is two micro coulomb. The next charge at x equals to forty centimeter. That charge is minus three micro coulomb. Now I am taking one more point. It is V. It is at a distance forty centimeter from the origin, from here to here. This is forty centimeter. Okay. Now this charge is minus three micro coulomb. This is minus three micro coulomb. Next third charge that is minus five micro coulomb at x equals to one twenty centimeter. Now I am taking here is a one point. This point C at point C there is a one more charge that is minus five micro coulomb. This point is at a distance one twenty centimeter. Okay, now we have to calculate the force on minus three micro coulomb. It means At this point means on this charge, what is the force due to these two charges? We have to calculate now. Okay, now to calculate this one, first we have to write what is given here. Given. What is given here? They given three charges. First one. Let us take it is a Q one. Let us take it as a Q1 charge. Q1 equals to two micro coulomb. That is two into ten to the power of minus six coulomb. Second one. This is Q2 minus three micro coulomb. Means minus three into ten to the power of minus six coulomb. And the third one is Q3 equal to minus five. Micro coulomb minus five into ten to the power of minus six coulomb. Now, to calculate the force, we want the distance between the two charges. Okay. Now, I am writing the distance first. O B. O B distance. The distance between the charges two micro coulomb and minus three micro coulomb is forty centimeter. Just convert into meter. It means standard form. That is point four meter. Next, the distance between two more charges, minus three micro coulomb and minus five micro coulomb, because we have to calculate the force on minus three micro coulomb due to this charge. That's why I am taking the distance BC. BC. Now we know OC. BC is equals to OC minus OB. Therefore, BC is equals to 120 minus 
120 सेंटीमीटर माइनस 40 सेंटीमीटर इज इक्वल टू 80 सेंटीमीटर इट इज 0.8 मीटर मींस दिस इज 0.8 मीटर इट इज 0.4 मीटर वी कैन राइट हियर 0.4 मीटर नाउ वन बाय वन वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द फर्स्ट वन force on q2 by q1 okay force on q2 by q1 how to write this one 2 1 f 2 1 is equals to we know the formula according to the coulomb's law f is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q1 q2 divided by r square okay now 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 into q2 the magnitude of the two charges q1 q2 divided by the distance ob just substitute the values 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is 9 into 10 to the power of 9 into q1 what is the value of q1 2 micro column that is 2 into 10 to the power of minus 6 q2 what is q2 3 into 10 to the power of minus 6 column whole divided by ob square what is ob ob is 0.4 this is f21 is equals to now see here 9 2 is 80 18 3 is 3 6 is 3 2 is 6 and 54 is 3 2 is 6 6 9 is 54 into 10 to the power minus 12 plus 9 is minus 3 divided by 0.4 whole square Therefore, F21 is equal to, by simplifying this one, 337.5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 Newton. Then what is the direction of this one? Now see here, it is a plus, it is a minus. Means, the force act on B by this one means, this charge attracting this B, Q2. Therefore, direction is along BO. This is what F21 direction. Means it is along BO. Means that is the attraction. This is the force of attraction. Next we have to calculate the force on minus 3 microcoulomb or the force on Q2 by Q3. Okay. And force on Q2 by Q3 that is F23 force on second one by third one is equals to 1 by 4 by epsilon naught into Q2 into Q3 divided by the distance between the two charges Q2 and Q3 is 0.8 or you can say BC square. Now substitute the values here. Now it is 9 into 10 to the power of 9 into Q2. It is Q2 minus 3. This is 3 into 10 to the power of minus 6 into Q3. The magnitude of Q3 is 5. 5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 all divided by BC. This is 0.8 square. Okay. Now, F23 is equal to now here, 9 3 is 15 9 is up. Okay. Finally, by simplifying this one, the value of F23 is equal to 211.5 
3 into 10 to the power of minus 3 Newton. The direction is now see here. It is also minus. This also minus. Means there is a repulsion. Repulsion means it is along CB or BO. The direction is F F two three. Okay, it's along along CB or we can write BO along CB. Okay, now this is what the second force act on the charge three mi minus three micro coulomb. Now we have to calculate the net force act on this one. Therefore, the resultant force. Therefore. Therefore, the resultant force act on minus three micro coulomb is is F resultant is equal to F two one plus F two. What is F two one? F21 is equal to 337.5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 plus F23. F23 is equal to 211. 10 to the power of minus 3. Okay, F resultant is equal to 337.5 plus 211.3. 11.3 into 10 to the power of minus 3. Okay, by simplifying this one, by adding this so we will find it at 48.8 into 10 to the power of minus 3 Newton. This is your resultant. Now it is along means direction. The direction is along B O R C B along C B R B O. Okay, now this is what the net force act on the charge minus 3 micro -color. Okay, dear students, the next problem is two point charges 5 micro -color and minus 5 micro -color are located 20 cm apart in a vacuum. Then, what is the electric field at the midpoint O of the line joining AB? Other two charges. And the next one is if the negative test charge of the magnitude 1.5 10 to the power of minus 9 9 polar is placed at the point, then what is the force experienced by the test charge? Okay, now what is the given here? Then what is the problem? Two point they given two point charges. Okay. Point charges. Two point charges. Five micro coulomb and minus five micro coulomb. Here, these two charges are having equal magnitude and opposite sign. Means. This is nothing but a dipole because these two charges are separated by a smaller distance uh, that is 20 cm apart. 20 cm R, this is a point 0.2 or you can say 20 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meter. Now here we have to calculate electric field at the midpoint O. Here, let us consider O is the midpoint of the dipole because it is a dipole because this, this is having equal and opposite charges. Okay, now at point O we have to calculate the electric field due to these two charges. And now how to calculate that electric field at the point O? Now first we have to write givers. What is given here? They given Q1 is equal to 
फाइव माइक्रो कोलम इट इज अव वन फाइव इंटू टेन टू दावर ऑफ माइनस सिक्स कोलम नाउ इट इज क्यू टू क्यू टू इज इक्व टू माइनस फाइव माइक्रो कोलम दिस इज माइनस फाइव इंटू टेन टू दावर ऑफ माइनस सिक्स कोलम नाउ दिस टू चार्ज आर सेपरेटेड बाय डिस्टेंस डिस्टेंस दैट इज डायपोल डिस्टेंस वी हैव ऑलरेडी टेकन डायपोल डिस्टेंस टू ए इन केस ऑफ डायपोल वी हैव टेकन द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द टू चार्जेस इज टू ए टू ए इज इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर आर पॉइंट टू मीटर आर यू कैन से टू इनटू टेन टू द पावर ऑफ माइनस टू मीटर व्हाट एवर यू कैन सी And now we have to calculate the electric field. Yes, here we have already known that the electric field at this point can be calculated one method. That is the regular method. Means we can calculate the electric field due to individual charges. That is due to Q1 and Q2. Then we can calculate. Ah, uh, then uh, by adding these two, we will get. The net electric field at the point O, but here I am using a one more method. Means the direct method. That is, in theory part we have already know that the electric field due to dipole at the point on the equatorial line. That is, we know that we know that the electric field, the electric. Field at a point at a point on the equatorial line on the equatorial line due to dipole is e equal to one divided by four pi. Epsilon naught into p divided by r square plus a square raised to three by two. Here p is dipole moment, and here r that r represents the distance between the distance between a point and The center of the dipole, and a, a is half of the dipole moment. Uh, sorry, half of the dipole distance. That is a. Okay. Now we want a. We want p and a. Here, what we have to calculate the electric field at the midpoint O. Midpoint means that R value is. Zero. The R value becomes zero, but R equals to zero. Why you have taken R equal to zero? The point is at the midpoint. The distance between a point and center of the dipole that becomes zero. Here, that point becomes at the midpoint. That's why I am taking R equal to zero. Now let us put R equal to zero in the above expression. Y equal to one divided by four pi epsilon naught into p divided by r is equal to zero and a square a square raised to three by two a square raised to three by two okay now two ones are two ones are now e equal to one divided by Four pi epsilon naught p divided by a q. Okay. Now, what is the direction of this e? In this, according to this expression, the electric field direction is minus of p q. P is a unit vector along the direction of the dipole moment. This is what we want. Okay, now we have to calculate first magnitude of the electric field. Okay, to find this electric field, the magnitude of electric field, we want P and E. Okay, now first we have to find P. Okay, and P. I am going to do calculation number one first. P 
P equal to, we know the dipole moment P equal to 2A into Q. 2A, what is the 2A distance? 2 into 10 to the power of minus 2 into Q. Any one charge, any one, the magnitude of any one charge, that is 5. 5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 could. Now, 5 to the 10. 10 into 10 to the power of minus 2 minus 6. That is minus 8. 2A is 20 into 10 to the power of minus 2. It is 20. 520 means is a hundred. Hundred means ten to the power of two. It is ten to the power of minus eight. This becomes ten to the power of minus six. Coulomb meter. This is what a dipole moment. Next one. What do you want? A. A equal. Already we know. Two A equal to. We know that. Already we know that two way distance. That is the length of the dipole. What is the length of the dipole? 20 centimeter. Here A equal to 20 divided by 2. That is 10 centimeter. R you can say 10 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meter. This is A. Now we have to substitute the value of P and A in equation number 1. Therefore, from equation number 1, from equation number 1, E equal to 1 divided by 4 by epsilon naught P. What is the value of P here? 10 to the power of minus 6 divided by a q. What is A? This is 10 into 10 to the power of minus 2. First write 10 into 10 to the power of minus 2. Now, 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon t is into 10 to the power of 9 into 10 raised to minus 6. Now here, 10 into 10 to the power of minus 2. There is nothing but 10 to the power of minus 1. 10 to the power of minus 1 raised to 3 means 10 to the power of minus 3. Okay, now simplify. 9 into 10 to the power of 9. This becomes plus. 9 plus 3, 12. 12 minus of 6. This is 12 minus of 6 means it is a plus 6. E is equal to 9 into 10 to the power of 6. Newton per coulomb or you can write 9000 into 10 to the power of 3 Newton per coulomb. Okay, now this is what electric field due to dipole and the point center of the dipole. Next, we have to calculate the force at the point O when the negative just charge is placed at this point. That is, the charge of the magnitude 1.5 to the power of minus 3 coulomb is placed at the point O. What is the force experienced by this test charge? Now we have to calculate. The second point. B. To calculate that the force, we know the formula. F is equal to Q into E. This is the relation between force and electric field. Now, Q. What is the charge Q? That is 1.5 into 10 to the power of minus, minus 9 coulomb into electric field. What is the electric field? 9 into 10 to the power of 6 
ओके नाउ या फी इज इक्वल्स टू 1.59 1.5 इनटू 9 दैट इज 30.5 इनटू 10 टू द पावर ऑफ माइनस 9 प्लस 6 दिस इज माइनस 3 न्यूटन नाउ वी हैव टू रिप्रेजेंट द डायरेक्शन ऑफ दिस इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड फोर्स हियर व्हाट इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड नाउ इन केस ऑफ electric field at a point on the equatorial line due to dipole the direction is minus of pk of means opposite to the direction of the dipole moment this is along along the direction opposite to the direction of the dipole moment here what is the direction of the dipole moment this is b a okay negative to positive this is the positive direction of the dipole moment but our electric field direction is opposite to the direction of the dipole moment therefore this is along a b now while writing the direction of the force we have to write it carefully because at the point o the negative test charge is there that's why in case of negative test charge the force direction is opposite to the direct direction of the electric field therefore here the direction of the force is along along ba okay 